Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's me the truck driver guy and right now I'm uh, truck driving in Montana and I'm going from Billings, Montana to Great Falls, Montana and uh, to pick up my next load and I just want to show you guys this beautiful place Montana, it's, uh, it's a very nice place speed limit here is uh, 50 miles per hour and uh, I'm going here on this great piece of land uh, lots of cops here lots of uh, police officers lots of uh, oh wow nice uh, so 70 oh truck speed limit 60 so in Montana truck speed limit is 60 in some areas so I'll, I'll boost her up to 60 and uh, I'm actually going uphill right now and just want to show you guys where I am what's going on what's happening around here it's very nice guys it's a beautiful out, out here very beautiful scenery guys this is Mon how Montana looks it's a nice state nice state nice people here um, I stayed in Billings for two days because I delivered my load on Saturday and there was uh, pretty much no loads until Monday so I had to kind of like do restart in Billings Montana which is fine for me I, uh, you know, I actually spoke to a lot of people there, get a little uh, spirit of, of people in Montana. I'm actually driving um, uh, luckily right now because uh, uh, about two weeks ago here was plain ice and right now it's a good weather here it's about 35 degrees which is perfect I mean unless uh, there is no snow on the asphalt it's totally fine it's totally perfect uh, I spoke to some uh, truck drivers they told me for the for uh, about three weeks they haven't seen the ice in Montana because you know Montana is a pretty cold state a lot of ice, a lot of snow a lot of uh, cold uh, you know a lot of cold situations so out here you know you need to be pretty much careful in uh, anywhere you go anything you do for example right now it's uh, great hills I'm going up and down on a hills here you can barely see any cars around here I mean it's not as busy state as let's say New York you know people uh, people pass me by because like I said you know speed limit for semi trucks 60 mile an hour so I, I go 60 mile an hour I don't want to risk my license you know it's better to be safe than sorry you know guys so um, but in the meantime you can enjoy the scenery with me right here in the semi truck
building a house. Wow, people built some uh, <coughs> something like a house. Let me zoom in for you guys so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, it's a mountains right here. truck is shaking that's why this video is a little bit shaky because of uh, because of the truck is shaking but it's fine guys I mean I'm doing my best I mean at least you can see the scenery this is what's important uh, so you can see the scenery you can see I can feel the winds there is some winds going on right now at the moment and uh, oh wow nice they even dress up the, the horses wow <laughs> nice they dress up the horses in Montana each horse have different dress different colors of the dress very nice very nice Somebody built a huge house on the on the hill right here. As you guys can see over there, it's a it's pretty big house. Somebody just built it in the middle of nowhere, which is kind of cool because nobody will bother you, you know. And uh, it's probably inexpensive too. It's not very expensive to build a house here especially if you know any connection if you if you have any connection I mean trucking is in Montana is very diversified especially in states like Montana people haul pretty much everything uh, I mean people here haul uh, oil hay I mean like uh, animals, dry van loads, reefer loads, pretty much you name it, uh, people haul it. And uh, yeah, guys, this is the situation about Montana State. Mo Mo Montana have uh, borders with Canada as well, so. So yeah guys, I'm going to pick these loads and uh, I'm going right to uh, Indiana and from Indiana I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go to Illinois, Chicago. I'm gonna probably take another trailer and go to uh, California for Christmas because it's Christmas and uh, I'm going to be in California so um, so yeah guys this is the situation see it's not too bad right here it's it's doable for driving I'm driving inside of my semi truck my GPS
lots of people drive uh, trucks here. I mean, like like Ford F one fifty or Dodge, you know, F or Dodge Ram, like fifteen hundred or twenty five hundred. It's very popular in this state because of its weather conditions. Wow. You guys can see right there it's a beautiful mountains it's a pretty clean state open big very nice very nice state As you can see right now, it's going to be a train. It's probably going to be a long train. I mean, it's not really long. It's probably like a local train. It's usually uh, usually big trains. They are going like um, they, they go over like you know. For example, they go from California to New York or from New York to California. But this one is not pretty big. This one is just kind of like a local train. Maybe they deliver. Uh, some kind of uh, some kind of like uh, resources from the state state resources it's a possibility that they do that fresh air because it's getting kind of stuffy in here yeah guys this is how you drive in Montana state pretty pretty chilly out here not as easy, pretty much just an open road.
bus. So yeah guys, pretty much I'm driving on US 12 in Montana, you know, it's a great scenery, great scenery for you guys, great uh, atmosphere, so here you guys can enjoy beautiful scenery and learn about Montana. Truck driving in Montana, it's very beautiful, I will tell you that. Very nice place to drive, very nice uh, scenery. Just beautiful. Look at the sky. How beautiful the sky is. about this state that there is no traffic here you drive without any problems it's clean clear I mean of course when it's a winter time um, and it's ice the roads are icy and of course it's a problem then but uh, other than that it's totally fine there's a hay Lots of hay. There is a little tractor over there. As you guys can see here, it's not a lot of, uh, you know, it's not very populated area, but uh, it's a clean air here, and uh, what I noticed, people look younger here, because of the air, of course, okay, speed limit, speed limit changed to 45 mile an hour, so we need to obey the law, we need to go 45 mile an hour, because there is a lot, a lot of uh, police officers waiting for us to speed and uh, give us tickets and violations. 35, need to go 35. You know, speed limit is very important, guys. You see, we, we drive through some town, there is a gas station from the right. There is a store over there. From th that's a restaurant, bar and grill. I mean, you see, it's not very... I mean, some of the buildings here as old as... I'm sure a hundred years old. Because some buildings just look too, too old. And... Uh, and of course, in, there's a post office. Yeah, guys, and right here, you know, nothing, it's not really nothing much going on around here. And again, we just crossed that uh, little town, and we're going, uh, again, speed limits changed for uh, truck, truck speed limit, 60 mile an hour, so... 
going 60 miles an hour again. There is another truck right there. In this state, it's a lot of, uh, you know, people go hunt a lot, uh, people go f uh, fishing a lot. Wow, somebody even driving BMW right, right now. You see, they just passed me. It's very dangerous to drive on BMW in a state like this. But I guess it's all about comfort. People like comfort. What can we do about it? a frozen lake right there still see guys it's a plain ice but it's beautiful guys it's it's dangerous yes I agree but it's beautiful you know it's just beautiful that uh, you know I'm really excited that I can drive through Montana I can see beautiful uh, mountains, I can see beautiful places and uh, I'm so thankful to God that road is not icy right now and uh, yeah, it's just just beautiful out here As we can see, it's getting more, more slower here because I'm kind of going close uh, towards the Canada. And as you guys, as we know, Canada is uh, you know cold place in the winter time. So I'm going there towards the Canada to pick up the load and. Uh, Right after that, I'm going to Indiana. I mean, I hope Indiana wouldn't be so bad either.
Montana, Montana, Montana. I like this state. And I'm happy. Right now, it's a, I can see the asphalt. It's no ice on the road. I'm really happy about it. flatbeds in this state because of the uh, nature of the state lots of flatbed loads Just beautiful. I love the scenery. <laughs> 